Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the OWASP juice shop set up, uh, installed and running. So a lot of you guys had queries, uh, you know, uh, in, in correlation to the previous video where we talked about CSRF and uh, you wanted me to show you how to install the OASP juice shop. Now the truth is, is that there's plenty of ways to go about doing it. But for me, I like the, uh, keep keeping things really, really simple. And uh, like in the previous video, what I did was I simply uh, download, uh, installed it uh, node or I have it uh, pre-installed. And the version that I have installed is version 8.11.3. So that's the latest stable edition. This is what they recommend that you use. And as you can see, the latest version of Juice Shop that I have on my desktop is supposed to work with uh, Node 8. All right. So let me just throw that out. We're not installing the latest version of Node, which is version 10, I believe. Uh, so node needs a node 8 to work. All right, now let's get started with the installation. I will have all these links in the description section so you don't have to worry about anything. Now, when it comes down to installing Node.js, I like doing it from the package manager, more specifically the aptitude package manager. So you can see uh, on this web page here, once you click on it, they have installation instructions for any Linux distribution and Mac OS right over here and also Windows uh, if you're into that type of thing. Uh, in addition, once you have Node.js installed, that's pretty much the hardest bit uh, done there. And even that's not really hard. So uh, if you're running Arch Linux, the instructions are right over here. It's pretty much extremely easy to install it on Arch. When it comes down to Debian, which is what uh, Kali Linux is based off, uh, you have to use curl to get the file. First, the setup, and then you run the setup. And then finally, you can... Um, you can use the uh, the aptitude uh, the aptitude package manager to install uh, node.js once uh, in that directory all right so you can run this command if you want to install node.js 10 you can do it from here but uh, as i mentioned you don't need uh, uh, node.js 10 because uh, it'll not work for this but if you ever wanted to install node.js that's how to do it now of course you can run the uh, the linux installer which uh, is a uh, is a shell script but I don't recommend that because you'll probably face some sort of issues. And this installation does include the node package manager, which is extremely important, especially because we are going to be hosting our, uh, our web application, which in this case is the OS juice shop locally. Uh, and Node.js is fantastic for this. I mean, I really, really like how Node.js handles this. Whether you're working on a local environment and you're testing the website or web application that you're building, it's really easy to set up the hosting. All right. Now, when it comes to the OASP juice shop project, this is the home page right here. The, it's, uh, they don't really narrow it down when it comes down to installation as to how to do it. You can see, you can, you can see there are various installation methods and, uh, you have your Node.js, uh, Docker and Vagrant. So, so uh, Node.js is pretty much going to work on all three platforms, whether you're running Linux, Windows, Mac OS. You then have Docker, which I'm pretty sure you're familiar with in terms of containers. Uh, which is also great, but I don't recommend it, especially for something as small as this. Uh, Docker is, is good for something a bit more larger and more professional, something that you you really need to have in a container. And Vagrant can run on a Windows, Mac and Linux. I don't recommend Vagrant if you're a beginner because, uh, as I mentioned previously, when building Metasploitable 3, you will encounter tons of errors. That's probably a next video that I'm going to do as we move on to using Metasploitable 3. So, uh, that being said, uh, what I recommend that you do is you can use, uh, you can, you can use the, uh, Node.js installation, but you can click on this hyperlink here, uh, called easy to install. And this will take you to this link right down here to this GitHub repository. Now I already have this GitHub repository opened here. So this is essentially the home, uh, home page for the OS juice shop project. And you'll find everything that you need uh, right in here. So yeah, starting off, it'll give you a description about what it is, the setup, um, and you can then start the installation from, uh, from sources, which means you have to install it from source, which I don't recommend if you're a beginner. Uh, you then have your package distribution, which is what I recommend. So you want to click on this link right here that tells you uh, to download the latest release. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. And as you can see, you need to install the 64-bit Node.js on Windows or Linux. And uh, once you have it downloaded, you, you need to uh, unzip it or unrar it. 
and um, and then change your directory into the unrod folder and then you start the node package manager and once that's done uh, you just need to go uh, just need to go on to your local host with the port 3000 which is standard for uh, node.js all right so as for the releases i'm running the latest one you can see they're sorted in terms of uh, platforms here so you have linux and windows uh, i recommend going with the latest version which is running on node 8 uh, which is more stable so click on that it's about 50 megabytes here and once you have it downloaded as i did you can just unzip it i i unzipped it um and i have uh, the the directory on my desktop here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my desktop uh to change my directory to the desktop and uh, i'm going to change my direct directory into the juice shop folder and if i list the files in here we're going to change directory into the further uh, into the other directory and we're going to list the files now so in here you need to just start the node package manager and a node will be hosted from this folder and since all the files required are in here you don't need to worry about anything else that's primarily why i really really love node.js all right so if you look at the command uh, on how to start it like here you uh, the command is pretty simple just npm start and it should tell you that your site is being hosted locally so npm start and i'm going to hit enter and let's see what it tells us uh juice start node app uh, all right so it, it, it's told us that it's starting this um let's see if it actually tells us it's being hosted or is there some sort of error here yeah there we are so the server is listening on port 3000 and now if we go to localhost um local host and port 3000 like so uh it should be hosted on uh, on the on your local host and there we are. Welcome to OS Juice Shop. Now remember, if you have been playing around with it, you can see this is the same uh, installation that I did have, and your your hacking progress will be restored. Uh, that's because, again, the reason why I love it so much is it's going to save where you left off in the sense that if you have exploited any of the features, you don't have to do them again. Uh, so uh, go ahead, uh, enjoy. Uh, it's really a, a very very fun challenge, OS Juice Shop. I really really enjoyed it and. It, it really encapsulates everything and of course I'm going to be focusing on exploiting the entire web application uh, and all the challenges that you need to solve but that's for the future videos so uh, I hope uh, you found value in this video if you did please leave a like down below if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section on my social networks uh, or on my website and I'll be seeing you in the next video peace